Tom Simmons. And I'm no smarter. In college, I took a semester of karate. It's done me absolutely no good in life. You know how much karate you can learn in one semester? Enough to get your ass kicked. That's how much. <laughs> I thought I'd be learning stuff. I thought I'd be breaking boards with my hands and waxing cars and Mr. Miyagi. And... <laughs> All I learned was that if you put me in a headlock, I can kick your ass like two or three different ways. But if you don't put me in a headlock, Uh, it's useless. I had to change my major, take three extra semesters of psychology just so I could learn to coax my attackers into putting me into a headlock. <laughs> well, if anybody ever attacks me, oh yeah, well, I bet you can't put me in a headlock. I am depressed, that's... <laughs> I know what I would do. <laughs> Weirdest thing I started to notice about myself, I hope I don't pass this on to my son. I was like, one, I get mad at inanimate objects. Two, I'm starting to develop a new type of rage. In my head, everybody gets road rage when they drive. I'm starting to get like people rage. Right? You know what I mean? Like you're walking in the mall and somebody's got to stop in the middle of the walkway, have their conversation about what they're going to do for the rest of their damn lives. Yeah, yeah you're in your head like, would you fucking go? This is a walkway. Oh. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's the cool thing about having a cell phone. You can just fucking say whatever you want to people and they, you can't, they can't do anything about it. You're like, this dickhead is just standing in the middle of my way. No, 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 I'm talking, I'm telling a story. I'm talking about somebody out there. <laughs> telling you, man. The government's got that policy, no child left behind. Really, first of all, I've never met one teacher that agrees with that policy. And secondly, really, don't some children need to be left behind? Right, yeah, getting ahead is not for everybody, all right? Somebody has to manage the late night drive through at Wendy's and enjoy it. There have to be people that read Ann Coulter books and drive Hummers. Yeah, can't believe how many people drive Hummers. Those people are retarded. Seriously, I saw a yellow one and I'm like, look at that, they're buying themselves their own short buses. <laughs> Trying to get back to childhood, I guess. Those things ought to come with a helmet, you know? Look in your mirror, jackass. You're not going to Fallujah. You're going to the damn mall. <laughs> we ought to be able to plant IEDs in your driveway. You're driving a Hummer, you know? <laughs> yeah. Maybe that's a little bit harsh, but come on, you know? <laughs> Saw a guy at the mall wearing a shirt that said chick magnet, which clearly if you're wearing a shirt that says chick magnet, you are not one. <laughs> you are actually reversing your polarity just putting that shirt on. You look mad. Do you have one of those shirts? Just... <laughs> You're like, that's it. This guy's no longer funny. <laughs> yeah. I brought my son into a scary world, but you know what? I want to teach him this because I believe it. I think fear only grips you if you embrace it. There's not much you can do. Life's just going to happen. Like I got a friend of mine, he's still afraid to fly. He's getting ready to fly to DC and he's all like, dude, I don't want to fly to DC. That place is a target. My plane gets hijacked, I'll be a weapon. It's like, come on, dude, they have fixed things since September 11th. If your plane gets hijacked, they will shoot you down way before you're a weapon. <laughs> I don't know what you're worried about. The leaders are safe. Yeah, and I figured out how if I was a terrorist, I would kill American people, right? I thought about this while I was Christmas shopping. <laughs> I would hang out in the food court of the mall and pass out little pieces of poison chicken on a toothpick. People would thank me as I killed them. It'd be great. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to do that joke on Comedy Center, and they're like, you can't do that. That's not even a joke. What are you thinking? That's like a military strategy. <laughs> they're like genuinely concerned that somebody's going to see a jackass comic. And they're like, a great idea. I'm going to start the chicken on a toothpick flu pandemic that sweeps the nation. You know? And this is important. If you get the bird flu, is it okay to eat chicken soup or will that just make it worse? <laughs> we should know that before it outbreaks. Stand up underground. Those people are retarded. <laughs>